Right now at 430 and while fall like weather starts to take over the Carolinas, the tropics are heating up. Our pinpoint weather team is tracking a series of possible disturbances in the Atlantic Ocean just one week before the peak part of the season begins. And what's made this hurricane season so unusual is how quiet things were in August. It has been more than 50 years since there were zero tropical storms between August 13th and September 3rd. But will September live up to the active hurricane season many forecasted? Let's go ahead and bring in our chief meteorologist Tara Lane and meteorologist Brandon Lawson. And guys, several forecasts, they have talked about this being one of the more active hurricane seasons. What's slowing things down right now in the Atlantic? A few ingredients, Brian. We've had that Saharan dust, and we've talked about that before. We've got wind shear. So both of those ingredients working to kind of keep a lid on that tropical activity. But as we were saying, I mean, we're getting into the peak of this Atlantic hurricane season. We can't let our guard down yet because we do have some more disturbances out there. Yeah, it's wild. As we get into fall and cool things down, the ocean is still very hot. So we're getting very active right now in the Atlantic. We've got three disturbances the National Hurricane Center keeping an eye on right now. Taking a live look from the Dominican Republic. Pretty quiet there right now. A little breezy, but just south of Hispaniola, we do have a disturbance there. A cluster of thunderstorms that the National Hurricane Center is watching, and that cluster of storms does have a low end chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next seven days. We're looking down towards it here. You can see that cluster of storms on infrared imagery. It's a very disorganized area of storms, but the National Hurricane Center is going to watch this as it moves into the Western Caribbean here over the next couple of days because it does have that low end chance to become a tropical cyclone, but the Yucatan Peninsula, that land and interaction is likely going to make it pretty hard for that system to develop into a tropical cyclone here. Another system that the National Hurricane Center was keeping an eye on over the weekend was this area of storms. It's off the Texas coastline there. That's actually leading to some flash flooding for southeast Texas. Now it's not going to become a tropical cyclone, but still some impacts with that moisture continuing to move on shore there in Texas. A couple more waves, uh, a couple more tropical waves here towards the uh, African coastline there. More tropical waves continuing to develop here. Low end chance of these turning into a tropical cyclone, but we'll definitely keep an eye on it here as we go through the course of this month. Because again, we are getting closer to the peak of hurricane season. None of those storms likely no threat to the Carolinas, but we'll keep an eye on it for the rest of hurricane season for you. The tropics picking up, Saharan dust is decreasing here. We've got warm sea surface temperatures, but we're still watching the wind shear. There's still a lot of areas of high wind shear. That's those strong winds upstairs that keeps those storms from growing tall and getting big and allowing those hurricanes to really to, to uh, develop tropical climatology here looking towards hurricane season. We see September 10th as being the peak of hurricane season, so we're just a week away from the peak of hurricane season with those named storms, but it's also the peak for named hurricanes as well, September 10th. So next week we'll be watching the tropics because again, that's when we expect hurricane season to likely pick up. The next named storm when we get it would be Francine. And now we're going to take a live look now from West Charlotte. Again, we kind of had some quiet weather here Ooh. while the tropics are picking up. The weather's pretty quiet and Terrell's mentioning it. We're cooling down here for fall. The ocean's staying hot, but we'll take the yeah. cooler temperatures here over the area. Oh, I know. I mean, you can't complain about this weather today, even if you maybe prefer the heat or and the heat of summertime. It's just so refreshing compared to all that humidity and that we were still feeling over the weekend and even yesterday afternoon. What a change compared to 24 hours ago here locally we're running about five to uh, around 10 11 degrees cooler than those high 80s that we had for official highs on that Labor Day afternoon yesterday. Right now we're only talking upper 70s to near 80 degrees. We've got even 80 out there in Richmond County, 81 at Sherraw, 79 in Gastonia, mid 70s in Rock Hill and the even cooler upper 60s only near 70 up there in the higher elevations. But what makes all the difference is just that drier air that was seeping in while we were sleeping last night, waking up to that. Most of us earlier this morning and those dew points going from the higher 60s to near 70 like where they have been the past few days to only in the 50s. So that is definitely that more comfortable air mass. And so we had the lack of showers and storms and very little moisture to work with to help get some of those uh, storms going or even showers will be partly cloudy generally as we go into the overnight temperatures backing off into the mid 60s by midnight or so. But we do have minor changes coming in for tomorrow. More clouds and I'll let you know when we could start to see some rain again. That's a head and pinpoint weather forecast in a few minutes.